Hello my bright and beautiful souls and welcome to another episode of Soul Wise with me Semily Sherry and we're approaching the new moon again and so here is my spiritual guidance for the month of November. It covers the four weeks beginning with the Scorpio new moon on November the 1st at 12.47 p.m. and that's in the UK which is where I live. As you must know by now if you've been listening to these, every new lunar month I draw one card from the Thoth Tarot and then explore that intuitively to identify the key energy to navigate by during that month and then I take a quick look at the astrology. So for this month, November 2024, I have the card of the Empress and I'm calling this guidance Choose Love and Beauty. As I was asking for guidance for this new lunar month, the Empress card flipped over insistently and stopped me in mid shuffle. It's fascinating that once again we have divine feminine energy calling for our intention. The last two months we both had queen cards which is divine feminine energy. The sort of destroyer warrior purifying energy. But here in the Empress we're invited to embody the divine feminine mother aspect as the fertile incubator who engenders love, compassion, fertility, abundance, well-being and beauty into physical form and manifestation. When there's so much chaos, pain and suffering evident around the world, it's an empowering choice to both accept the reality of this and yet still focus on the more regenerative potential that's possible. I saw the emphatic arrival of this card as a blessing of protection and a promise of the heaven on earth that we can create and are already creating over the coming four weeks. First of all then, as what appears to be happening out there presented to you on mainstream media may continue to seem dire this month, it's very important that you look after yourself and your well-being. Unplug from the news, take time out to give to yourself whatever helps you to connect and align with those higher spiritual values described earlier. For yourself, go for a walk in a natural landscape that brings you peace and lifts your heart. Book yourself a massage or Reiki session. Create a poem or picture that expresses the highest vision of the world you can imagine. Just by imagining anything, you plant the seed of its manifestation. For the world, you could tend a garden, get involved in a community caring or creative project of some sort, check in on an elderly neighbour, embody love in action, even the tiniest, most simple of actions, and you will feel it rippling out and returning back to you in a myriad ways. Having said that, this month is not really about doing, but developing a way of being from which loving action will naturally blossom. It's a focus on your inner world of personal, emotional and spiritual growth and well-being. The inner world, which a long-standing patriarchal culture has persistently urged you to ignore in favour of logic and productive outward-directed action. 
you're being invited here to sit with and explore your connection to all those feminine aspects of your being, your intuition, your inner nurturer, care of your physical body, your emotional and creative needs, expression and wisdom. How easily you can give those things to yourself or not, undoubtedly teach you about how well you're able to extend them to others. When you distill it down to essentials, you could simply ask yourself the question, how freely am I able to give and receive love? My guides, who have a wonderful sense of humour, are now playing a song in my head. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there's just too little of. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. No, not just for some, but for everyone. Forgive my raspy voice there. I've had a little bit of a, a sort of feeling like I'm going to lose my voice over the last few weeks, but it's just about survived. Anyway, I feel this reading is a profoundly moving declaration that a benevolent, nurturing universe is holding you safe and close to her heart this month, ready and able to give you all you need to flourish and enjoy a bountiful life. You just need to deliberately pause and create the space in which you can receive the incredible gift. The Earth, or Gaia, is often seen as the Divine Mother in many belief systems. I see the Empress card as a sign of regeneration in the natural world. Despite humanity's abuse of her sacred body and the visible ravages of climate change, I expect to see or hear of ways the Earth is miraculously rebalancing herself and reviving where life had apparently been irretrievably wiped out. And in response to typing that last sentence, Plato's well-known saying wrote itself across my mind's eye. Necessity is the mother of invention. How perfect is that? Humanity is incredibly resourceful and I'm envisaging the cleverest minds tapping into their inner wisdom dreaming up ways of using advanced technologies to restore health to the environment. I'm seeing that technology implemented in harmony with and inspired by the Earth's natural cycles and, and patterns, aligned with a heart-centred respect and honour for all life. I've been speaking with some of my friends and we already have a sense of this burgeoning revival in our local landscapes. Look for it and you'll be encouraged by the upsurge of life-bringing power welling up from deep within Gaia. Your attention and participation can foster this renewal and create the more beautiful world we know is possible, where all life is loved provided for and nourished. All is and shall be well. And here's a quick look at the guidance that astrology offers us for the month of November. The Scorpio new moon on the first stirs the bubbling cauldron of transformation further with the possibility of more hidden truths and secrets coming to light. Add to this the opposition between Mars and Pluto, and you'll need to brace yourself for more intensity and upheaval. Don't panic or act on anything until the Taurian full moon on the 15th, when the true way ahead becomes much more clear. 
Uranus, the maverick trickster and instigator of change, conjuncts the full moon, bringing to a culmination the urgent messages humanity has been receiving about valuing and respecting the Earth's natural resources and the balance of environmental systems. Expect surprises and coincidences that point to an innovative future. When Mercury goes retrograde on the 26th, trust your instinct and intuition above all else. No matter how loudly other voices may be shouting something very different. So that's it. I really hope these very general but guiding readings are helping you to make your way through these difficult times. And as I imagine and hold the vision of love and beauty permeating the world, filtering through all of life, through all our interactions and relationships, I will feel and see you beside me doing the same. And when our hearts and minds are joined in intention, supported by spirit, with the intention of the highest good of all, then truly miracles are possible. And I believe that we are beginning to see the first tendrils unfurling of those miracles. All shall be well. And so for now, I leave you with so much love and bountiful blessings. And I will speak to you again as soon as I can. Take care. Goodbye for now.